Okay, let's take a look at path animation here in Cinema 4D. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to middle mouse click and click into my front view. And I want to create a path that we're going to have an object follow. So I'm going to grab my cubic drawing tool, click something there, be there, something there, here, and that should do it. Kind of move these around until we get them where we want them. That should be okay. And maybe pick this up just a little bit. Okay, that should be fine. Let me come back over here. Pull out just to kind of see what we have. So this is the path that we have. Now, create a little object. Put a cylinder in the scene. Maybe make its height 500 centimeters. Lay it down on the x-axis. Come over here. We'll grab a cone. Minus x-axis. Let's move this forward a little bit. We get something like that. Take these two objects. We will convert them to polygons. Then with these two selected, we're going to right-click, connect objects, and delete. We'll just call this arrow. Okay. And now basically what I want to do is I want this to follow this path. And now that I've done the path, I realize that this is probably not nearly big enough, so we'll just scale this up. Do something more like that. Makes more sense. So in order to get this arrow to follow this spline, we'll use a Cinema 4D tag. So we'll right-click on here, go to Cinema 4D tags, and we'll click the Align to Spline. So now we get this little Align to Spline path object. And all it's asking for is a place to put a spline. So we'll take the spline, we'll put it in there, and you'll see that this has jumped to the first point of the spline. Now, you should notice that at this point, we cannot move our object. It's locked to the spline. We can, however, rotate it, but that's not what we want to do at this point. So now if we come over to the Align to Spline object, we have a position, and we can Control or Command click here to lay a keyframe down on our power slider. We can come to 90. We can take this to 100. And we can Control or Command click again to lay another keyframe down at 90. So now this is what we have. And that just doesn't look right at all. So what we need to do is we need to come over here and click on Tangential. And you'll see that our object has rotated. We'll need to come over here to our Enable Axis tool and turn that to 90 degrees. We'll turn that off. And now let's take a look at what we have. There we go. So now it's following perfectly along our path. All right. So that is the Align to Spline tool and how to make objects follow a path here in Cinema 4D.